Don't fall apart, don't fall apart, don't fall apart, don't fall apart, don't fall apart. First meal of the day, oatmeal, and my egg roll wraps, they got a little ripped. So, they're a little bit uglier than usual, but they taste the same. Oh goodness, I look rough. My skin is going through it right now. I have all these like, under the skin bumps because it's winter time so good morning guys um i'm gonna be sharing like a what i eat in the day pregnancy edition again i get a lot of requests for this i do share this on my instagram a lot but whenever i'm sharing it people are like actively asking me to do it again and again so <clears throat> figured i'd do one here uh now i have my lemon water all the other apart from what you've seen me eat today the only thing i've had is coffee i know you're supposed to drink lemon water first but I'm not going to like stress myself out about that. When I wake up, I'm usually pretty ready for my coffee and pretty hungry. So um, basically I'm doing lemon water now because it can help with muscle cramps. I'm starting to get the really bad muscle cramps in your legs and I'm taking magnesium. I've been taking that my whole pregnancy. I took it prior to getting pregnant um, and I read that that can help a lot too. But my biggest goal in the lemon water is to reduce swelling. I have been fortunate enough not to have any. Uh, my mom had a lot towards the end of her pregnancy, but I think she also had, I told you guys, my mom had a rough, rough go. Um, so I think she had a medical condition that caused hers, but I'm gonna drink lemon water. Hopefully that will help prevent swelling-ish, fingers crossed, um, because at the end of next week, I start my third trimester, which is just absolutely insane. So, um, and he's probably already, he'll probably be there by the beginning next week because he measures big so i'm gonna drink my lemon water and then get ready for the day and then today i'm actually heading out to i need to go to target um and also the chiropractor again so i'm about to leave i wanted to show you guys my snacks i'm gonna share what i get while i'm out like i'm gonna grab some food while i'm out but for snacks right now i'm loving fruit um so bananas with peanut butter are really good and i always count the calories in those um strawberries i look so pale today Strawberries are always good. Um, kind bars. So these are the dark chocolate chunk. I'm probably gonna take these. You can also do these little emerald 100 calorie pack cocoa roasted almonds. These are so delicious and definitely scratch my chocolate itch. Both of these do. Um, fiber one brownies are really good, but those aren't, I wouldn't say those are snacks because they're not filling. That's truly like a dessert. I think apart from that, I think that's all like the snacks. I eat popcorn is another one. Um, but today I'm going to eat one of these and then like I said, I'll take you guys to wherever I go grab lunch um, And I'll share what I eat there, but I can already tell you it's probably gonna be Panera because Chick-fil-a is just too much like it's getting to the point where we have so many of them on Wade Hampton and Greenville But like they're still so insane and the other day I waited for probably 10 minutes just to actually get into the lot and while I was waiting in the lot a woman like they have, so the line, you come in from the road and it splits into two. And then there was an exit line and a woman pulled in from this direction and drove through the exit line to get into the double lines for Chick-fil-A. And I was like, you really need your chicken that bad that you would just jeopardize hitting someone? So it's it's insane. It's not Chick-fil-A, it's the people obviously, but it's worth it to me. I sliced my finger nice and open the other day and I don't know how. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, so I use the food scale and I've had some questions about people who are like, how do you not feel like you're restricting your calories too much while pregnant when you use the food scale? So I use the food scale because it's accurate. Um, with the MyFitnessPal app, it takes three extra seconds. The MyFitnessPal app is actually incorrect a lot of the time. I found, one of you guys told me, you were like, it will say that something is so much higher calorie than it is. So I think the first thing I ever did was avocados. It was saying my avocados were like 150 calories for what I was eating. And when I measured it in grams, it was actually like 90. And same with like strawberries and with bananas. And it'll just give a generalization 
plan of like, okay, roughly four ounces of chicken is this many calories and that's not true. It's usually less. Um, so I actually find that I'm able to eat more when I accurately weigh my food out, but I don't know. I feel like that's a touchy subject. People always get like up in arms about people, but everyone gets to choose what they do with, you know, their own eating habits and stuff. And for me, um, it's just super, super easy to count calories because I know what I'm putting into my body. And also if I count my calories, the way I see it is I can eat so much more. So like if I eat healthy, if I make a healthy decision, um, I can eat three times the food that I can eat if I eat really, really bad. Um, and I do still eat really bad sometimes. We had pizza last Friday that was like super cheesy. Um, on, I think it was Sunday, Sam was like, I really want a burger. And I was like, we don't have burger stuff so you can go like run by McDonald's. And so I got a McChicken sandwich um, while we were there. Like I don't always eat healthy, but like I do the 80-20, I think is what it is. 80-20, 90-10 rule, whatever, where everything in moderation. I eat Oreos if I want them, I eat chips if I want them. I just, it's all about how all I take it in stride. Well, I got my phone, I think my car is good to go. Eat my kind bar. Actually, my kind bar is friggin', these things are messy. Back home, it was actually not as busy as I thought it was gonna be. I was very surprised, it was so busy. Um, So I wanted to walk you guys through what I order when I go out to eat. I ended up going to Panera. Um, whenever I am getting food at Chick-fil-A, I always, let me pull up the order because I want to tell you guys correctly. So I get the grilled chicken sandwich meal whenever I go to Chick-fil-A. Um, it comes with the honey roasted barbecue sauce. That is so good. I cannot explain it to you. If you've never had their honey roasted barbecue sauce, it's delicious. I'm sure it would taste fine on the regular bun, but I do switch it out for the gluten-free bun. Um, just because I do gluten friendly, especially now that I'm pregnant, I do still make sure to eat gluten. Um, it doesn't upset my stomach as much, but I want to make sure the baby gets used to gluten and it's not crazy when I'm he's born. Um, I get a diet lemonade because Chick Fil A diet lemonades are life, and then I get the kale crunch side salad. So the kale salad is really good. So they have a regular salad. Oh, I don't see it on here. They just have Cobb spicy southwestern market salad. That's odd, but usually you know. They used to have a kale salad. Maybe it's a summer thing, but you can get it as a side and it's so delicious. It has, um, I think, almonds with it and cheese. So it's really like, has a lot of flavor. That's what I get when I go there. And then for Panera, I actually shared this a couple weeks ago. I get the Asian sesame chicken salad. Let me tell you guys the, I think I talked about this last time too. Um, sesame chicken salad. So it is 420 calories total, 32 grams of protein. That is insane for um, a salad. So I always like to get this one because it is so delicious. Um, and sometimes I'll eat the bread, sometimes I won't. I don't know, I'm not really in a bread mood today, so we'll see. So gonna eat this and then um, get back to some work I have to do. All right, so tonight for dinner, we are doing tacos with um, ground turkey in the spot air fryer. So making the ground turkey, gonna add in some taco seasoning in a second. Yes, Allie, I see you, girl. You have food. I don't know what, I don't know what your deal is. This is the ones that I use, little corn tortillas. It's 100 calories for two of them, but they're significantly smaller than the regular ones, so. I think I'm gonna make like quesadilla style. I don't know, we haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, we've got a variety of what cheeses we have left here, but I'm probably gonna use this one. And then Sam's cutting. What are you doing? That's actually kind of smart. Shredding lettuce, what are you doing? You're a smart little cookie, aren't you? These are so good. Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. I add those in there because they're delicious. It takes no time at all. And I do measure out my stuff. Um, Sam doesn't measure out his. Mine's a little bit more controlled as far as calories go. Another day, looking crazy um, in my sleep shirt, but another day of eating. So, just woke up. I have the sniffles. I'm not, I don't have the sickness that we can't say or it'll get blocked or whatever. Um, I am making more Nasoya egg roll wraps. So, we have about three minutes left. I am watching this thing diligently because I am hungry. And something else, I um, have shared before, but I don't think I talk about it a lot. I do 100 ounces of water a day, so I gotta fill up my water <laughs> and uh, get started on that. It's 
just a little bit hungry, so I'm about to go on my walk and decided to go ahead and eat my um, bananas and peanut butter. Okay, so the lighting's acting all weird in here. Sorry, I don't know why the camera's like doing that, but steak, potatoes, toppings of potatoes, and then these little veggie mixes. Let me show them to you. Takes like seven minutes and it's actually very low calorie, 45 calories per serving. And one bag fed salmon I think there's like two and a half servings in there. So very, very good. Oh, I thought I got some around the table. All right, so we're gonna eat dinner. That is it though. Time to so far lose light. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog and see you guys next time.